Okay, so here we're going to have a look at how we install a plugin that's going to give us a bulleted list in Final Cut Pro 10. So we're going to be looking at plugins from the Motion Master Templates website, um, some of the free plugins they have there, and we'll look at where those files are being installed, how it's working in Final Cut Pro 10, um, and then also have a look at how you can use those plugins in Apple Motion as well. And so we're going to scroll down here and grab our free template. So it's the bullet point template that we're looking for. Uh, we're going to click on the free download. And the first time you come to this website, it's going to ask you uh, for your email address. Um, so you get something for free, but you also have to donate a little bit of information as well. So I'm going to type in my email address and we'll click to receive our free template. And then essentially we can click here to access all the free templates and we can go ahead and download the bullet points template here. So once we've downloaded that, and it shows up in the bottom bar here on Google Chrome, which I'm using, we'll click on that. And there's a couple of different ways of installing motion templates. In this example, um, there's an installer. So we're just gonna double click and run through the install. And there's some PDF instructions here as well with a few helpful notes and contact details. If you're having any problems with the, the motion master templates, we're just gonna jump straight in and double click on the bullet points plug in here and run through the install. Obviously reading everything carefully there. So if we close that, we can now move the installer to the trash. Close this up. And now when we open Final Cut Pro or Motion, we should have the bullet points within our project files. So before we get into Final Cut, let's just have a look at where that file has been installed. So we're gonna make sure we're in the Finder here. We're gonna to go to the Go menu. We're gonna to jump to the Home menu and then into the Movies folder, into Motion Templates. And then if we look in here, we've got our Titles, our Motion Master Templates, and then our Free Templates. And in here is the Bullet Points. So we've got this Bullet Points Motion file. We've got some media in there. And we've also got a couple of thumbnails. So let's fire up Final Cut Pro and have a look at how this works. So we're gonna hold down the command key and tap the space bar, which brings up my spotlight search. And this is my favorite way of starting up most software. So if I type in Final, then Final Cut Pro should pop up pretty quickly. And so in here, we've got a couple of projects opened up, but I'm just gonna to go to File and New Library. We'll make a brand new library for this one. We'll drop this onto the desktop and we'll call this bullet points test. And so in here now we're gonna make a new project timeline. And depending on which version of Final Cut Pro 10 you're using, um, you'll either have your generators up here at the top left um, or at the bottom right here in the older version 10.2. So we'll click up here and we're gonna come into my titles and my motion master templates. And in here we have the bullet points free template. So I can drag this right down to the timeline and you can see here, I've got some options here for this template. So essentially, um, if you look up to the top right, um, if you don't see the inspector, then just click on the inspector button up here at the top right to show the inspector. And you can see here, we've got our title coming on and we've got some options for this title as well. So if we go to the T here, we've got some options for whether the text rotates and what kind of bullet point uh, we're using. So we can have a star, a dash, a circle. We've got some options down here for the color of that bullet point as well. So we can change it to a nice hot pink or a different color. Choose our color up here. Okay. Or from any one of the color windows we have up here. We can kind of pick one that works for us. And then you can see we've got some other options um, here as well. We've also got a drop zone here as well, which allows us to drop in an image. So let's grab an image and have a look at what this is gonna do. So I'm gonna jump back to my project, jump to the desktop, and we'll just drop in an image from the desktop there that we can use. So in here now, I'm gonna scroll down with my image there selected, click on the drop zone button, and then go ahead and select the source. And then I can click apply clip. So now with my image selected here, I can go up and I can change the graphic here that I've used to drop zone. Scroll down, I can change the scale of that. So we can scale it down. So you can see we can drop in 
any graphic there in as our own bullet point. And we've got some options here for different types of scaling, for panning and zooming, so we can kind of position that nicely. There's quite a nice level of control in this bulleted list. Um, if we scroll up, we can increase the number of bullets or decrease the number of bullets. And then if we go to our text, you can see essentially each line is gonna to align to one of those bullets. So if we add an extra bullet point here, so our sixth bullet, then in order to add that sixth bullet, it's not gonna happen automatically. We just need to go and change the number of bullets here. And then we'll need to scale that bullet list so that it matches the height there. So the bulleted list that we have here is good, um, but it's not quite the same as uh, creating a, a bulleted list in a text editor where every time you write a new line, it's gonna create a new bullet. But we do have uh, the kind of control that we need, which is good. So at the moment, when we play this back, the text is pushing in from the left and we can adjust this so we can have no push so we basically get a little bit of a fade into the text. Um, and we can also turn these off as well um, so that we just get the bulleted list without any animation. So we can simplify what we have here or we can add in more animation if we want it. We can also set the background here to none. So before I do that, I'm just gonna jump to my desktop and we'll grab this image here. And I'll just stretch this out and drop my title above there. So if I now place this image underneath my bulleted list, select my bulleted list and then change the background here to none, then we're going to see the image uh, behind there. So I need to just tweak this image a little bit. And I'm going to drop the opacity just to kind of fade that out. So you can see here for doing something like a presentation, this is a useful plugin to use um, for those kinds of animated bulleted lists. When you're editing the features of the bullet here, there's a lot of settings here, which is great because you have the control, but it could be a little bit confusing the first time you come to this. I know that as I'm looking at these different settings, I'm finding some things that are useful, some things that are a little confusing in the initial setup, but if you spend a little bit of time with this plugin, I'm sure you get the hang of working with all the settings. And before we finish up here, I just wanna open up the motion template in Apple Motion. So if we go back to the desktop here, I'm gonna to go to my recent folders. We'll go back to the, the bullet points plugin here. And if I double click on the motion project, it's gonna open it up in Apple Motion. And this will just give you an idea of the parameters that you could change if you wanted to make your own adjustments to this bulleted list and see how this is actually set up. So you can see here, we have all the layers, we have the different images that are being pulled in here. And if you're interested in understanding the more advanced settings that you can create in a template that you move from Apple Motion to Final Cut Pro, then taking a look at those templates, those text generators um, is a really good idea. You can see, how the different features are working here. Although this may be tough to understand at a first look, the more you study these templates, the more you'll begin to understand. I hope this tutorial has been useful, and I would definitely, as a free template, recommend this Bullet Points plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.